Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Agar Vajapati and in this video, I will be talking about what is the difference between multiple IRs in Azure Data Factory and we will be seeing what does it mean and you know where it helps in ADF. So before the video, I will introduce my channel Geek Coders. Here I upload videos on Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Big, SQL, Python and so on. So if you're liking my content, you can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. So let's get started with today's video. So let me open my Azure Data Factory. Okay, so we have this workspace and we have these pipelines, data set and so on. You know, I have talked already in the previous videos. But once I go to this manage button and if I click on this link service, okay and let me like we have created already this link service you can see we have the option of this integration runtime and if i hover into this then you can see the integration runtime is the compute infrastructure used by the data factory to provide data integration across different networks vice versa and so on okay we can ignore this and if i click on this then you can see we have this auto is all integration runtime by default and we have the option of press new button so that we can create our own integration runtime okay now if i cancel it and if i click again on this integration runtime then here also if you can see we have multiple multiple irs present and uh, if i click on this plus option then we, you can see we have azure self-hosted and then we have azure ssis okay so now just uh, just cancel it and let me open my notepad so in the simple term like i am talking about integration runtime in very simple term i'm not going very deep okay we will be deep in next we will go deep in next video but in this video i will i will be talking very basic thing and in a very you know in a very brief and very in a very simple language so integration runtime means computation engine okay for an example for example copy activity okay so when we are performing copy activity in adf so it happens because of computation engine so we have the we have data we have the data uh, like the data is present in the source and data is present in the sync okay so how that data is getting read and how that data is getting right into the location is with the help of this computation engine okay everything is have everything is uh, being used with uh, by this computation engine okay now we have three type of integration runtime in adf one is azure ir that is azure integration runtime second one is self hosted integration runtime and third one is ssis integration runtime so in azure integration runtime we have by default auto resolve azure integration and it is used in while we are copying data from cloud to cloud okay when we are performing any activity which is present on cloud we can see self-hosted integration runtime is used when we are performing the activities from cloud to on-premise service or vice versa okay and this ssis integration runtime run on-premises ssis package on adf so like if you are from ssis background then you can you know about this ssis packages right we used to create the same same pipeline in on-premise system and there we create the packages so, so for an example if any company having the project in the ssis okay and you know they want to run those things using azure like since they are moving to the azure they want they don't want to imp uh, implement the same thing replicate the same thing using adf so what they will do, they will use their SI in, uh, SSIS package and run on their ADF. Okay, so this is the this is the difference between integration and uh, like the meaning of integration runtime in ADF. Now let me just go back here and uh, you know if I click on this plus button, then okay, just cancel it, just cancel it and uh, see we have this auto resolve integration runtime so this is the by default feature which is by default integration runtime which is available in the in every adf okay so if i try to if i try to 
open it then you can see over here this region is auto resolve, resolve okay so what does it mean reason is auto resolve we cannot edit it so whenever suppose we are creating a we are creating a copy activity where the source is present is see let me write down here source is present in best us okay and sync is present in let's say east us so based on the requirement based on the requirement this re this integration runtime will be created either west us or east us based on the data size or you know which is the which is near to this so this is auto resolve feature and if i click on this data flow runtime then this is also this is also fixed okay this general purpose compute type and core also four plus four driver course time to live and all those things is is set you know we cannot change i believe we cannot change okay now suppose you want to create your own integration runtime because sometimes what happens sometimes what happens if you have chosen this so and if you are running multiple pipelines say you know with the same integration runtime so what will happen what will happen is that uh, you know sometimes you are running a query and based on the you know based on the course four plus four sometimes it gets into the queue and you know your pipeline will take such more time because it is shared right so that's why this integration runtime feature is coming to the picture so if i click on this press button and if i click on this azure uh, well, thing and if i continue it click on this azure again continue then you can see the first name is uh, a name here you can choose here you can choose your region okay let's say i'm using east us and then if you go to this virtual network you can disable in enable it and if i click on this uh, data flow and time then here you can you can you know change it based on your requirement if your data is very huge if your data is very huge then you can change it okay so, uh, if i click on this large then you can see the core count is 16 plus 16 and time to leave is uh, time to leave is 10 minute okay and uh, like if i click on this custom button then you can optimize or you know you can fill this details based on your requirement might be the case that you you need more more driver because the data is very huge very big so that you can change it based on your requirement okay and this is just just click on this create button then it will get created now there is an option of self-hosted this requires an on-premise system you know uh, this requires a a server name and all those things so i need to install it into my local system so i will be sharing this i will be you know talking about this self hosted in details in the next video not in today's video uh, because i need to change my system accordingly and uh, yeah that's it for today's video and uh, i hope you have understood the concept of azure integration in very like in a very in a brief so you don't need to mug up all the definitions of integration and time and so on just uh, just Remember one thing, integration and time is computation engine, nothing else. Okay, whatever the whatever the action we are performing, it is it is used computation uh, engine. Okay. And we have three type of integration and times. One is Azure, that is cloud to cloud. Self-hosted means cloud to on-premise or, or vice versa. And SSIS packages and on-premise SSIS package on uh, ADF. So this is like this is being used with with like by by very less companies but but these two things are very important okay so if, if you have liked the video you can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited okay bye bye